Welcome to another doll repainting video on my channel. I took a brand new Draculaura and I'm going to remove her from the box. Remove her clothes and accessories and then cut off her hair. And as this doll is going to have inset eyes, I'm going to let the factory paint on and start cutting them out. And I'm letting the eyes on as a guide. Then I'm going to start thinning out from the inside of the vinyl to make like little pockets. So kind of like eye sockets, let's say, so the eyes will sit perfectly. And that does take a lot of time. I'm going to cut a hole on the head and that's how I'm going to insert the eyes. I just found that it's much easier to cut the vinyl once you completely remove the hair from the inside and the glue as it's quite thick. I'm learning as I go along. So I'm just going to pull out everything using tweezers. And uh, in case the glue is too hard, I soften it in hot water. Then I remove the factory paint with some acetone and as you notice her hands are black and I have switched them off with my Avea uh, from the previous repaint and also the hairs from Avea. I am going to reroute just the first line of hair just around the head because I like it more that way and I'm using the rest of the hair to make wefts and I'm, I'm going to glue it on. And I rerouted because this will also hide the hair with the glue. I'm putting some glue inside to glue the hair I rerouted, and I'm moving on to creating the eyes. I made them with Fimo polymer clay. I'm painting the eye sockets blue and then putting some Liquitex liquid varnish and some glitter. Letting them dry and then I'm going to apply UV gel nail polish and I'm gonna dry them under this UV lamp that I got from eBay for like five euros and they're all nice and sparkly and I'm cleaning them off with some alcohol so they're not sticky anymore now I'm putting some fabric to protect the hair from Mr. Super Clear and I'm spraying the head with three layers. I started doing her face up and then there was something that I didn't like and I tried to clean it and this is where all hell broke loose and everything went left. I tried to clean it and it stained her face. So what I did, I airbrushed her to cover that blue stain and I'm airbrushing the body as well. So I'm going to add Mr. Super Clear again and I'm going to start blushing her face, moving on to the lips, giving her some blue winged eyeliner. And I'm a little bit out of frame here. I'm learning. So I get carried away and distracted while I'm working. I don't check the, the camera. So I'm going to keep on working on the eyes with a little bit of brown in the creases, a little bit of eyeshadow just to give it depth, some highlights. Moving on to the eyebrows. Some contouring. And then I'm going to add some glue and add a little bit of glitter. And some little stars because it matches her whole look. I'm adding some glue to glue the falsies on. And then I'm going to move on to inserting her eyes. 
and I'm going to use epoxy sculpt to keep them in place. I usually add glue, well usually, this is the third time I'm doing inset eyes. And this time I did it and I went straight in with the epoxy and it looks like, I don't know, I didn't push them very well in place. But um, I'll explain later what happened. I'm going to create her outfit from this sparkly material and I'm taking these Gulia shoes and painting them dark blue. And I'm also adding stars on her outfit and some sparkle on her shoes as well and i'm using decoupage glue uh, this also seals the paint in so it doesn't scratch off and it also seals the glitter in it's like varnish as well so it protects it i put some rhinestones on them to give them some extra bling And I'm going to glue the headpiece back on. And I'm going to glue the wefts of hair back in place. And I'm putting them, um, I'm starting from the center because she's going to have a ponytail. And this is where the mistake happened. I squeezed the head too hard when popping her on. And as you can see, her eye got a little bit unglued. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's another mistake I made. So thank you so much for watching and I'll leave my Instagram underneath. Hope you guys enjoyed.